Odelay. All right, I'm sure some of you guys have seen my videos always praising Toyota. I'm a big fan of them, super reliable. You guys have seen all that. But today I want to talk about things I do not like, specifically about my third gen 4Runner here. And uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to think of stuff I do not like about it, but there are a couple things. So I figure might as well bust out a video before the old lady drags me up to the river. As you can tell, I got my river attire on. Okay, first thing, it's a pro and a con. When Toyota designed these things, they kind of wanted them high off the ground with a low roof so they could fit in spots, whatever like that but when you're six foot six like me it kind of sucks there's not much room inside this thing luckily this one has a sunroof so i can open that and have my head sticking up you know so it's kind of a kind of a tight fit but it is a toyota has pros and cons another thing about toyotas which i'm kind of comparing this to a jeep cherokee that i had before the Cherokee kind of sat a little bit higher off the I mean, when you're sitting in the seat, you kind of feel like, you know, you're up a little way. And they're not too high of a roof. Sure, they're complete junk, in my opinion. Every time I went out, I broke the dang thing. But I'm kind of hard on stuff. So that's why I'm pretty partial to Toyotas. I've got a pile of them. And uh, they're great freaking rigs. This thing, I've talked about this in a few videos. I do not like the upper and lower ball joint and the strut steering on these third gen runners or the Tacoma Tundra above fork gens all that stuff which you know I mean the strut suspension it rides super nice it rides a little bit better than the third gen pickups and second gen forerunners but at the same time it's just not as tough it's not as tough Another thing I do not like about this specific 4Runner is the automatic transmission. I mean, Toyotas, they make freaking phenomenal automatic transmissions. They are tougher than heck, as long as you keep the fluid in them and you don't burn out your reverse gear, like white picking gear. But I've got another Toyota over there, whatever. i got to pull the tranny out and put it in this, and that's another day. But what I don't like about the automatic is when you're in the sand. I mean, it just freaking sucks. It can't find the right gear. It wants to hop back and forth when you're down first. That's pretty much what I end up doing, just staying first and wrap it out. Because then if you go to second, it'll just hop back and forth from first to second. So I would advise if you are looking at a third gen 4Runner, which you should be because they are freaking phenomenal, to try to find the third gen 4Runner. Yeah, first gen, look at it, second gen, third gen, all right, the camera lady was confused there, we got pickups to come with, forerunner, so it's, it, it's tough, but if you are looking for a third gen forerunner, I would advise to find one with the manual, even though I'm kind of partial to the limiteds because of the push button locker, which is why we bought this thing, that freaking locker makes a world of difference when you're going through a trail that's all goofy whatever and stuff and it happened to just bonsai through it you just kick that locker in you can just crawl right through it which i'm sure a lot of you know how rear end lockers work which is a pretty cool trick to do seeing that these forerunners and the tacoma pickups they only engage the rear locker when you're in four low where well, there's actually a gray wire trick which maybe i'll do a video on that one of these days and do that to one of these because I've, I've had a couple Toyotas actually one Toyota Tacoma that I've done it to already so which then you'll be able to engage your locker in two-wheel drive four high or four low so it's pretty much if you want to just go out and do nasty donuts you want to do the gray wire trick but I'm a little older now don't do too many nasty donuts in these anyway that's the old T100 stashed out the bushes did she's phenomenal doing nasty donuts which i've got a couple videos of that thing back in a year ago or so when i started this youtubing okay another thing i do not like i've talked about kind of size but you gotta think in japan i think the average height of a you know somebody in japan has to be probably five eight five seven maybe like giving them some because most people i see whatever that nationality are usually around five five like pretty much here on me so, I'm sure whatever, when they were designing them, they weren't thinking some big, oafy bastard from America, whatever, was 
talking about it, which being the sitting on the floor and the low down thing, I noticed after a long trip, man, my freaking ankle, my leg will start to hurt, but I'm so used to driving Ford pickups, my big pickup, diesel, so roomy, I mean, it's so nice and stuff like that, plus my work pickups, what I predominantly drive, I put the most miles on that thing every year, 5,000 miles every couple months, happen to do an oil change. Um, so the automatic transmission, not a huge freaking fan. The three fours are the most reliable motor. I mean, they are just awesome freaking motors. I wish they had a little bit more horsepower, but then you get into, oh, well, just get a supercharger, but the reliability factor goes a little bit down. And that's what Toyota, they kind of designed their motors for maximum reliability, except the three liter. I don't know what they were thinking on the three liter. But some of them, which I've said in many other videos, whatever, some of them will last you forever, and some of them you're lucky to get 150 to 200,000 miles out of without popping head gaskets and head problems. Yeah, I threw a rod in once, and one once. So three liters aren't the greatest, but that's not here nor there, which they are freaking underpowered as heck too. I mean, the three liter has 150 horsepower, and then you step up to the 2.7 and the Tacoma in the third gen 4Runner. That 2.7's got 150 nasty horsepower. I mean, just freaking Budweiser drinking Marlboro smoking Clydesdales. And they're freaking just the nastiest horses. It's a sweet 150. But these three fours have 190, which it's good. It's good. It's all right. It's all right. Which 190 in that thing is stupid. That This thing with 190 horsepower, that thing freaking gets it. This thing does all right. Yeah, I mean, and she ain't winning any races. Well... I'm sure the old lady will tell you different. This is kind of her little hot rod dog hauler. Because otherwise, I'd rather her drive the Camry over there. But, yeah, girls and pickups. I take my dog. Da -da -da -da. And, uh, so she really likes this thing. This thing's a great rig. Been super awesome for us. I'm just about to 180,000 problem free miles. It's really been completely reliable. We stepped up to the 17 inch wheel. Uh, off a of fifth gen 4Runner that a buddy of mine bought and put new wheels and tires on it so I picked these up off them pretty cheap which they dressed, they dressed her up pretty nice still got plans to do the 5100 Bilsteins on it just so it sits up a little bit higher maybe we'll go to a 285 maybe even a 265 75 because that'll be around a 32 which will probably be alright probably end up doing that and then doing a inch and a half wheel spacer on her. I think they're sitting nice. And uh, yeah, pretty much besides those cons, there isn't much I can really complain about with a third gen 4 -hour. I mean, if I wanted a bigger, more comfortable rig, a little less reliable, I would have went with something else. But like I said, this thing, well actually I didn't say this, but this thing takes us down to the beach. We end up going through trails in it. We always go up to like camping spots and stuff like that where you got to go drop down some stupid spot. Otherwise, somebody's there. It's summertime and everyone's at the river. Like right now, we're going to end up having to fight for somewhere to go swimming at, even though I'm not going swimming because the water's freaking cold. But the old lady will go swimming and uh, the dogs, tubs, you got to put tubs on there. She's excited. I'm ready to go to the river. And of course, battery's already loaded in the pickup, so he's ready to rock and roll. Time, are you ready to go to the river? All right, well, I better wrap up this video so we can take this little fat dog up to the river. Huh? Let, her, let her swim around. But believe it or not, these bulldogs aren't really supposed to swim that much because they're tiny little legs. But she's kind of a swimming fool. She doesn't go that deep, but she, just, she loves to go out there and paddle around. So awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you want to. Maybe watch some of the other videos I have up. And uh, stay freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, today is day number five of year 246. So high five for that. Stay free. American birthday, five days ago. High five. All right, stay awesome.